Hello, welcome to Christopher Columbus day four. We are getting a little behind at school, so we did not get to the vocabulary today. So I'm gonna give you an extra day to get it in as well. So I'm gonna give you a break um, for work today. But I do want you to watch this video about Christopher Columbus. Here's a story or a biography written by Lisa Wade McCormick. So, so this book has a word hunt and it says look for these words in the story. So we have Asia, the Bahamas, Compass, Explorer, Jewel, Ship, and Spices. Meet Christopher Columbus. Do you like going on adventures? Christopher Columbus did. He was a famous explorer. Christopher was born in 1451 in Genoa, Italy. He was the first person to sail from Spain across the Atlantic Ocean. This is a painting of Christopher Columbus. Christopher was a sailor. He believed that he had found a fast new way to reach Asia. He would sail west across the Atlantic Ocean. Christopher wanted spices, jewels, and other treasures from Asia. So here's an example of spices. And here's the map. And here's Spain right here. And he, all of his um, adventures he left from Spain and he went, and remember, we learned that he had four in all. Um, he went across here, he first landed at the Bahamas. So, um, and here's Asia over here. And this is where, the, this is what they called the Indies. And um, this right here is India. And India, China, um, Japan, all the, the, um, countries in Lower Asia were called the Indies back then. The king and queen of Spain gave Christopher money to pay for his trip. Christopher used the money to buy supplies. He started his trip on August 3rd, 1492. So this picture says Columbus started his trip in Palos, Spain. And you can see a ship there. And that's what Spain might have looked like back then. Christopher had three ships. They were the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Christopher used maps, a compass, and patterns in the stars to guide him. And here is what a compass looked like back then. A little different than today. And here, here are, is a picture of the three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. His trick trip took 71 days. Christopher reached the Bahamas on October 12th, 1492. The Bahamas are islands southeast of North America. No one from Spain had been there before. And so here's the map again and this, see it has a little kind of an arrow coming down here. This is an enlarged picture of the Bahamas. So here's the ships and the islands of the Bahamas. Christopher thought he sailed to the Indies. He called the people he met there Indians. Here's some, a picture of him meeting the people. Christopher made three more trips to this new world. He died on May 20th, 1506, which was only about two years after his last voyage. And this is a statue. The statue of Christopher Columbus is in Genoa, Italy. And remember, that's where he was born. I find that really cool. Very nice statue. And so here is a little timeline. Uh, Christopher the Explorer. Christopher Columbus is born in 1451. And here's a picture of him again. Um, in 1492, the king and queen of Spain give Christopher money for his trip to Asia. And here's a picture of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. And 
Number three, on August 3rd, 1492, Christopher and his three ships sail west from Spain. And here's another picture of the three ships. Number four, land. On October 12th, 1492, Christopher reaches the Bahamas. He meets people, people there and calls them Indians. And here's a picture of the Indians. And then last, number five, Christopher makes three more trips to the New World between 1493 and 1504. He dies in Spain on May 20th, 1506. This is a statue of him. So that's a little timeline. And so here's a picture of gold. Here's a picture of jewels, silk, and spices. So um, the silk is very soft and the um, gold is very valuable and jewels are very valuable and they use spices to cook with. The end. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this book and um, I'm not giving you an assignment today, but um, you'll have something again tomorrow. I hope y'all have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.